take care of this. There are still people in danger. Go, help them. What? <laughs> hey, I got this. Come on! <laughs> Me. Just go! It's what I deserve! Ah, shut up, would ya? I've completed your trial. You don't have to report back to me. Seeking other people's validation won't benefit. Only you can evaluate the result of this trial. I am also one of the Adepti. You can say that I'm an Adeptus in training. Perfect. I didn't come in vain then. Although you sound a bit half-hearted. Uh, doesn't matter. What blessings can you grant me? Wow. Straight to the point, huh? Dear Pilgrim, you shouldn't jump to conclusions. Adepti don't help every pilgrim for free. For free? Do you mean that you charge people for the bless- Ah, uh, that's not what I meant. What I'm trying to say is that everything should be earned through hard work and earnest living. It would be unfair to other people if you got everything you wanted for no reason. Give me a moment to consider the best approach in this scenario. All right. Let's approach it this way, then. Your enemy knows you best. Huh? If I remember correctly, Second Life and Wanyo Boutique are old business rivals, competing for market share due to their similar wares. Hmm. In that case... In that case... Ah! I know what you mean, Miss Ganyu. Miss Ganyu plans to let them expose each other. Exactly. Please divide the matters at hand into government affairs, business affairs, and civil affairs. Mark out the tasks that haven't been started, and those that are in progress. I'll take care of the rest. Of course. We'll do it right away. Oh, finally. <laughs> We're saved. I understand. Thank you. I think I realized Mother and I are so similar in so many ways. The things she chose to place her unfulfilled wishes onto the identity of Tsubaki. As for me, I've already decided. Oh, so you decided on an alter ego too? No, um, I don't plan to do anything like that. I think... I think I will set myself a new goal. To live each day without regrets. I will challenge you, Almighty Shokun. What? Descendant of the Kujo clan. Regrettably, even if you win against me, it cannot atone for the wrongs committed under the Kujo name. I realize that. I don't stand a chance of winning against you anyway. I know full well that the mistakes my father made ought to spell the end of the Kujo clan's legacy. Even when I was executing the Vision Hunt Decree, I had doubts about my father's decisions. I knew that what I was doing was wrong, but that was as far as I went. I doubted, and I ruminated. I understood the situation perfectly well, but I took no action, and I didn't save a single. I accept the Kujo clan's decline as punishment for my deeds. I can't even say that I failed to prevent it, because in order to fail, you have to have at least tried. To be brutally honest, for someone of your strength, there is nothing you could have done, even- Yes. I'm too weak. My father ignores me. My elder brother can't help me. And I even need Ipe to set me straight at times. It's the way it's always been. But if nothing else, and right here, right now in the Kujo clan's final hours, it is I who represent the clan. Just as the Shogun said, a forefather of mine once showed his will with his sword. Then please, let me. Kujo Kamaji, end the story of the Kujo clan in the same way that it began. This is my last chance to do something. This is patently meaningless, but I accept. Come forward.
The Cujo clan's honor was forged with courage, tempered with integrity, and shines beyond life and death. Show me whether your blade can bear the weight of your name. Ready to learn, almighty Shokan. Another anomaly in eternity. Nevertheless, it appears that the Kujo honor still courses through your veins. Whew. When it's time to deal with the situation, you're just like the Shogun. So strict. Oh, you think so? I thought I was rather accommodating. If it had been the Shogun, she would have decapitated Kujo Kamaji without a second thought. I do believe he was prepared for that outcome. I could see it in his eyes. The Kujo clan has undergone a dramatic change from its glory days to its present decline. Kamaji is hardly a great heir to the Kujo name, but... He has shown me how some things remain the same even as the world around them changes. I also have you to thank. The things we experienced out on the streets and the photo you took of me, they helped me come to this realization, too. So what's next for the Kujo clan? Will they get to carry on being in charge of it? Not a chance. Even if their heir was someone who showed promise, their past mistakes cannot be erased. Still, I will give them a little more time. After all, they are not the only ones who have made mistakes. The Shogun does not make mistakes. She is incapable of doing so. But I, as A, would like to offer my apologies. I have much to contemplate in the days to come. But at least, I can now see the way ahead. I think I'll leave that to the Shogun. The greatest threat to eternity is still the erosion that comes with time. As I said, the Shogun has a robust system to protect her against modification. This is because I anticipated that I myself would change over time. But I've made up my mind. So I will do what needs to be done, no matter how difficult it is. Hmm. <laughs> this has certainly been a memorable series of events. Really? So, from what you were saying, it seems that she's finally begun to comprehend what form eternity should take? That's the most important outcome of this trip. To be honest, I wasn't expecting you'd make such great progress when I lent you- Yeah, it seems like she's not gonna force everything to stay the same way anymore! To put it nicely, even deities indulge in wishful thinking. To put it more bluntly, there are things that even the Seven can't do when faced with something even more powerful than themselves. <laughs> Take a guess. Anyway, it sounds like you had a very pleasant trip and even had the chance to see A's less formal side. Next time you wish to see her, you can come and take the pass permit from me again. She would never admit to it, but she does in fact get quite l What? But she said she doesn't need company. Because she is a god. It's not that gods don't need the company of others, just that the idea of a god having company seems indulgent to her. This is the one! This is the one! <laughs> See? As 
long as you're in my company, you're g yeah, it's on the smaller side. But uh, size isn't everything in a beetle. Just let the expert explain, okay? What smaller beetles lack in strength, they make... Listen, you can never see a beetle's true energy until it's in the ring. It might look a bit young and docile, but that's got its advantages. Haven't you ever heard the saying, don't judge a book by its cover? I'll take care of this. There are still people in danger. Go, help them! What? <laughs> hey, I got this. Come on! Forget about me! Just go! It's what I deserve! Ah, oh, shut up, would ya? gonna hurt tomorrow. Ugh. What's up with the looks on your faces? I said we'd be okay, didn't I? I'm sure I'd be looking a whole lot sharper right now if it wasn't for that brutal bean attack of yours earlier. Why? Why would you do this for me? I'm the guilty one here. I don't deserve this. Because we're Oni, that's why. We share the same. Our parents and their parents before them never taught us that it was okay to abandon family in need. <sighs> I just wish you'd come to find me sooner. If you knew about me all along, then you should have come and asked me for help. I never would have dreamed of turning you away. The blue only disappeared so that they wouldn't bring trouble to the crimson only. If I came to you for help. Not to me. I've always respected the Blue Oni for their sacrifice. It's only because of them that we have survived to see today and built a world where Oni and... Honestly, everything that I have now, I owe to the Blue Oni. And let me tell you, the Inazuma of today wouldn't see you as a villain just because of the color of your horns. You say all that, but... In spite of everything, you're barely getting... <laughs> That's just how I roll, man. You remember the pack, don't you? We're not supposed to suck up to the humans. We're supposed to earn their respect. Every member of the Arataki gangs had a tough time trying to fit in. Take Akira, for example. He snores like you wouldn't believe. Or Genta. He's got a serious temper problem. And Mamoru? Well, he's colorblind. Even Granny Oni. She got that name for taking me in as a kid. We're all rejects and outcasts in some way, but you want to talk about pride? Well, in our gang, we're proud to welcome anyone who's been through adversity with open arms. But... I... Ah, don't worry. The Arataki gang's already a bunch of misfits. You really think you could cramp our stuff? We... Ah, yes. That does sound like my... So... Did they take Uncle... Yes, they did. But don't be too upset, Daisuke. He and his gang may have acted recklessly, but the fact remains that he's- Yeah, I knew it! Uncle Ito helped us, and he's awesome! Now, don't get any ideas, Daisuke. Ito is a far cry from awesome. He still caused a lot of trouble for a lot of people. If you ask me, I'd say he's like one of those little Oni Kabuto you kids are playing. Though he looks fierce on the outside, he has a kind heart. He's not a delinquent, but he'll never back down from a fight. Uh, I don't really get it, but it sounds like a compliment. I can't wait for my next beetle fight with a- Thank you, Granny, for taking care of our little boy. I hope that Ito and his friends will be released as quickly- Yes, you needn't worry. The officials in the Tenryo- It's time we started heading back. We'll be sure to visit again soon. Ah. 
Ah, I'm glad that everything was resolved in the end. But as for the blue Oni, just leave them to me. If there's one thing... Do you need our help? <laughs> no, no. Go on ahead. I'm sure you have other adventures. Besides, once Ito is released, he'll be here to help me. Oh, yes. And you know what? I think that's what makes him adorable. Wouldn't he does whatever he puts his mind to? He's sincere, brave, and did back when I took him in. Everyone thought I was most unusual indeed, but I've never been ashamed of this name. On the contrary, I'm quite proud because Ito is my pride and joy. A long, long time ago, in a village lost to time, there lived a crimson oni and a blue oni. They were the best of friends. The crimson oni wanted to be friends with the humans, so the blue oni played the role of the naughty kid. And then he left. After a long time, the crimson oni was living happily with the humans, but in his heart, he wanted to bring the blue oni back home. The crimson oni didn't know where to find the blue oni. His search took him up the highest mountains and across the widest rivers. He found many traces of the blue oni, but the more he found, the clearer it became. The blue oni was hiding on purpose. So just as the blue oni had once done, the crimson oni left him a letter. Dear Al, I've made lots of human friends now, and I want to have a big party for everyone. I want all my friends to be there. That means you too, Al. If you don't want to meet me, you can just watch from a distance. The blue oni snuck back to the village and hid in the shadows. He saw the great feast and roaring fire and longed to join in. But though his stomach rumbled, the blue oni remembered the oath of old and kept his distance. Suddenly, he jumped. The crimson oni was right behind him. <laughs> hey, you're finally back. Come on, I'll introduce you. It's time everyone met my best friend. <laughs>